Hello. I look like I had like a wrap, but that's fine. It's fine. Anyways, what's up guys? I haven't filmed a video in a couple months. It's like, like why not just film a regular catfish routine? Well today I'm gonna teach you guys how I catfish. Obviously my hair isn't this long. I wish, <laughs> not yet. Hair video coming up soon. It's almost been a year since I shaved my head. I'm gonna teach you guys how to go from this to something like this or something like that but yeah um no i'm not insecure about the way i look no i don't feel like i need makeup to cover up anything i mean obviously look at this pimple and look at this pimple but i'm still cute either way without the weave without the makeup without me i'm cute so i don't need makeup so don't come at me and talk about oh you wear too much makeup like girl or boy I don't care so save your breath well, i did my eyebrows i completely did a 360 on my eyebrow routine it is no longer the same so if you guys want to learn how to do your eyebrows and get them snatched up like this let me know so i can film that video so i messed up i always do this i'm not supposed to put concealer first I'm supposed to do my eyeshadow first. Stupid. Um, should I even do eyeshadow? Yes, it's part of the look. Okay, anyways, I use the same color for everyday looks. Same color is burnt orange in the soft glam palette from Anastasia. Yeah, especially like when I'm trying to look good or like take a picture. I usually put this on my eyeshadow, I mean on my eyelid. I put eyeshadow on my eyelid because I want it to look a little more fancy than usual, okay? That is a lot of patience and time. Look, I blend my concealer into my eyeshadow. Don't do that. See, don't do what I just did. You're not supposed to put the concealer on and then do your eyeshadow. You're supposed to do your eyeshadow and then the concealer. Usually after my eyeshadow, then I apply my concealer. But since I'm dumb, I applied my concealer first today. But anyways, I'm still gonna look good, so it doesn't even matter. I go through a lot of blending steps with my makeup. When I was in eighth grade, starting to wear makeup like on the daily, I like scarred myself because like I look like disgustingly ugly, girl. Like oh my god, like my makeup was so bad, like so bad. It was so tragic. And I really thought I was like the baddest female at my school. I was like, y'all, like, I got this, like, I am going to be a famous YouTuber one day. My makeup skills are just out of this world. I just now realized that I really can't do makeup. Like, I was supposed to be ready hours ago. Hours ago. And we're sitting here just now starting this. Like, I really need to work on that. But anyways, see, so, you now I take my sponge and I blend it. Because yeah, let me talk about why I've been gone for so long. COVID hit. <laughs> um, uh, spring break turned into months of being at home. And then I got hit by a car. <laughs> and then COVID happened. And then, um, yeah, my life kind of fell apart. And then I got a job full time. And I've just been working and saving my money. I bought a car. I got. I bought my very first car on my own. Now let me tell y'all about my job. I mean, it's not a bad job. It's really not. I'm really grateful I have a job, especially right now and how the world is like whack. Like it's like crazy out there, man. It's customer service, right? I guess, yeah. Yeah, definitely customer service. Um, I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty it's not cool. It's like I it's I like when these customers call my place of employment 
and then like they're mad about something or i don't even know what like they'd be mad for different reasons like i can't even guess sometimes i mean sometimes i can but sometimes i can't um but they'd be yelling at me cursing me like giving me hella unnecessary attitude through the phone i haven't had somebody like disrespect me in person actually i have i've had a karen experience in person I really wanted to jump over the counter and like slap her with I don't even know what but I want to slap the shit out of her but I didn't cause you know employment <laughs> money I need my job my point that's my point I need my job can't just go slapping Karens around and getting assault charges cause also I'm 18 and I can get charged as an adult and I can't be swinging on people really she was like so rude for no reason my point is people be so rude for no reason and it's not like I could understand if I was the one to cause your upsetness and like make your experience really shitty or whatever point is I have like my temper my patience my patience my patience Sometimes I don't even I don't even know what the word patience means. But you know, we're trying to learn. Patience is a good skill to have in life. So I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to develop said skill. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some contour powder from Anastasia. I look really pale, it's really bothering me, but we're about to fix that. I take a really skinny contour brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. Put it on my chin, because I have a very big chin. Oh my god, and also I've gotten back into nose contouring, which is really ironic, because, you know, mask, you have to wear them, because nobody can see, so nobody, nobody can see my nose. But I still want to contour my nose for, you know, pictures and stuff. I've started contouring my nose. Cause when I was a freshman in high school, I would wake up at 4 a.m. every day just to do my makeup because I was really insecure. Ugh, don't even talk about that time in my life. Um, I just had a lot going on, okay? Anyways, I would contour my nose every morning. And I honestly, I don't even, I have a cute nose naturally. Like, I really love my nose. I'm so happy with my nose. I'm really blessed with my nose because there's some people out there who feel like they need a rhinoplasty and thank god i'm not one of those i love my nose but you know who doesn't love a good nose contour i'm not gonna do a whole tutorial because then this video is gonna be like five hours long so this is my nose before my contour right cute don't stare too hard okay guys i feel like I'm <laughs> i feel like i did it wrong i feel like it looks really ugly but this is my nose after nose contour So I'm almost done with my face makeup. All I gotta do is the last of the chiseling out, which is what I do with this brush. It's one of those knockoff Artiste brushes. Um, I've had this since the, whew, had this for a while now. I dip it in the face powder and then I just carve out my cheeks. That really is, it's not it to my makeup routine, but it's basically, that's the wrap up of it. That's the, the finale, I guess you could say. After this comes my lashes, more blending, setting spray, gloss, lip liner, lipstick, whatever I'm doing that day. Um, I haven't really been wearing highlighter lately. I brought my highlighter out today because I wanted to see if I was in the mood for it. So I don't really know if I am. I would just put like a little bit. Very little. I, was I done talking about my life? I don't hate my job. I just want to make that clear. Because that's like, that would be like really negative vibes. And like, I really wouldn't work there if I hated it that much. Um, I don't hate it. It's just like the, the people sometimes. The customers are just annoying. I really hate working with people. <laughs> Um, I'm just more of the antisocial type. I really need to stop that though. That's why I got this job because like girl, I need to grow out of it already. I need to grow up. And that is a lot of blending that we just did there. I don't use setting spray. I feel like I can't trust these makeup brands right now 
with all this controversy going on with like them getting exposed with putting, putting bad products in their makeup I just use rose water it's this, I don't know if it has lasting powers for my makeup but I know it just helps melt everything together and it helps combat redness so if I have a pimple that day aka a good day like today um, I'm gonna put my lashes on and we can do my lip and close out the video. Okay, so now that I have my eyelashes on, I'm feeling my nose contour a lot more. Just a little update for y'all. Anyways, I'm gonna finish off this video with a lip combination and I'm about to put y'all the F on. I don't even know if they saw this lip gloss. So if they don't, if it's sold out, don't come at me. Also, this is probably a different angle, but I have my phone. I was on my phone when I had the camera off. Anyways, this is a lip liner. You don't have to use this specific lip liner, but like any brown lip liner would work. Okay, previously in my life, I didn't even own a lip liner, but as soon as I did, I became obsessed like oh my god like just with every step i become a bad bitch and it's like i become badder and badder anyways this lip gloss right here first of all stunning right yes i know this is anastasia's summer vibes lip gloss like look at that like yes yes anastasia money I'm so dumb. You guys like my mask? Got it from Boohoo. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate you watching my video. I appreciate you staying all the way to the end. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm always super active on there. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I've been trying to talk louder. Have you guys noticed? Am I doing a good job? I hope I am. Anyways, let's go. Cool.